Hi, my name is Kathy Tripp. Um, I'm going to read off some um, scriptures um, of faith to help build your faith and to help you to simply believe God for everything that he has promised you. All you have to do is just trust him and walk by faith and believe him. That's all you have to do is trust him, walk by faith and believe him. And he's going to bring it to pass. Um, you can leave your request down below and I will stand in agreement with you. I will read each one and stand in agreement with you. Will one or two come in agreement in anything? It should be given unto them in the name of Jesus. I'm going to start with Hebrews 11 chapter first verse. These are just different scriptures of demonstrations of, uh, people that were just like you and they just simply believe God, what he told them that it was going to come to pass something that he promised them and he wanted to bless them with. And they just simply believed that's all they did. They waited and they believed they trusted God. They walked in faith and they simply believed. Okay. So I'm going to start with Hebrews 11 chapter first, first. Now faith is the assurance of a title deed, confirmation of things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of the things not seen, the conviction of their reality, faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. Number two, eleven two. For by this kind of faith, the men of old gained divine approval. Number three, verse number three. By faith, that is, with an inherent trust and enduring confidence in the power, wisdom, and goodness of God, we understand that the words universe, we understand that the worlds, the universe, ages, were framed and created, formed, put in order, and equipped for their intended purpose by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things which are visible. 11.6, but without faith, it is impossible to walk with God and please him. So you even have to have faith to please God. For whoever comes near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he rewards those who earnestly and diligently seek him. Now, verse number seven, by faith, with confidence in God and his words, Noah, being warned by God about events not yet seen, in reverence, prepared an ark for the salvation of his family. By this act of obedience, he condemned the world and became an heir of righteousness, which comes by faith. Verse 8. By, Abraham, by faith, Abraham, when he was called by God, obeyed by going to a place which he was to receive as an inheritance, and he went not knowing where he was going. Number nine, by faith, he lived as a foreigner in the promised land, as in a strange land, living in tents as nomads with Isaac and Jacob, who were fellow heirs of the same promise. Verse 11, by faith, even Sarah herself received the ability to conceive a child even when she was long past the normal age for it, because she considered him who had given her the promise to be reliable, which was God, and true to his word. Whatever you believe in God for, leave the prayer request down in the comment section below, and I'll stand in agreement with you. Have a blessed night.